In this lesson, we're going to learn about shapes. You can use shapes in various different products, especially in flyers. And in this assignment, we're just going to experiment with all the different things that we can do with shapes in Microsoft Word. So to insert a shape, you're going to go to Insert, Shapes, and you guys can choose whatever shape you would like. You're just going to draw that shape into the box provided, and you want to do an example of each of these items listed. So a preset shape style would be right here where it says shape styles. They're already preset. They've got them ready to go. You can draw another shape by doing insert and drawing another shape, or you can duplicate it by hitting control D to change the shape fill color. Fill color is right here. To change the gradient, you go to fill gradient. And you can find a gradient. If you want to get fancy with it and be a little bit more advanced, you can go over here, do gradient fill, and you can do various stops, which means different colors. So I could have it go from pink to blue. I can move these to change what it looks like. I can change what it looks like here as well. So you can get fancier. To fill it with a picture, you can choose picture right here. You can do file, which is a picture that you have saved on your computer. Clipboard means you've copied a picture, so you can hit clipboard and whatever you had copied will show up. Or online means you can search for a picture. And the last option is pattern, which is, shows up right over here. You can pick a pattern and you can change the colors and that will show up in your shape. In this next one, I want you to experiment with shapes with textures. Click on the shape. Go to Fill, Texture, and you can choose any of these pre-made textures. Change all three. To rotate a shape, just click on it. You go to the Drawing Tools, Format, Arrange Group, Rotate, and you can rotate it to the right, to the left, flip it. There's more options for rotation, or you could manually rotate it by grabbing that right there. You can send a shape behind text or forward. To do that, you can right-click. And you can bring it to the front, bring it forward or in front of text, or send it to the back, send backwards, or send behind text. In this section, they want you to practice grouping shapes. If you create some kind of a logo or you've got something organized just how you want, you don't want to have to keep moving all of them. You want to be able to move them all at once. Hold down Control, select all three shapes. You can go up here to the Format tab, Arrange Group, Grouping, and you can choose Group. Now I can move them all together. I can resize them all at once, and I can rotate them all at once. Sometimes you're going to want your text to wrap around your image, so you can click this little box beside the shape, and there are different text wrappings here. If you hover over them, they'll tell you what they are. You can also click to experiment. So the one I chose was square. And if I make my image small enough or my shape small enough, you can see what that looks like. It just looks like the text is wrapping around it in a square fashion. If you have an oddly shaped shape, tight works better. And you can see the example up here, how the text is wrapping around tightly around that starburst. To create a drawing of yourself in five lines or less, you're going to go to shapes and you have all of these drawing tools to choose from. You can get creative. If you're a good artist, you can try to sketch it from scratch, maybe like a side view. So there is one line and then I have four more lines to try to create eyes, hair, etc. And all of your line tools are under shapes. Use all of the skills you've learned thus far to create scenery with your shapes. If you're an advanced user, uh, I'd like to challenge you to create um, a snowy background with a person skiing down a hill. Or you could do water skiing since it's still warm outside. And this is Shapes.